Our frontline staff are the ones who will deliver or fail to deliver the McDonald's promise. The only way we can truly differentiate ourselves from the increasing competition is through levels of service that no competitor can match. And the only way to sustain that difference is for every McDonald's employee to live it every day. Certainly our crew's job is difficult enough. We have to make life easier for them and remove the causes of dissatisfaction. 365 days a year, our momentum has to be maintained. We need to look at several different areas to make real progress. Firstly, keeping the promises we make to our people. We need to work harder to improve our image as an employer. We need to make things easier for you as managers and franchisees out in the restaurants. We also need to look at improving our incentives package. And last but definitely not least, we need to look at continually improving our operations. Ladies and gentlemen, exceptional service is the future prosperity of the business. Mark this day in your diaries as the day a new era of success begins for McDonald's UK. Isn't it obvious? No. What's it for? Why do you think I'd be sitting here pushing pins into a rubber ball? Is it like one of them voodoo dolls? What? You know, if there's someone you don't like, you, you make a dollar, in this case a head, and you stick pins in, and where you stick the pins in hurts the corresponding part of their body. What are you on about? This ball is a representation of the world. I'm going to stick a pin into this ball for every McDonald's restaurant we've ever opened and I've got 25,000 pins. If it were a voodoo doll then you'd be feeling a stinging pain every time I stuck a pin in. Ow! That hurt! Don't be so stupid. <laughs> Of you who don't know who we are, and for those of you who spent too long in the bar last night, let us introduce ourselves. Well, Tim over there is the VP and Regional Manager of the Central East Region. His career began in London before moving to the Midlands, where he worked his way up to Market Manager. In 1994, Tim began what's to become a four-year tour of duty, in which time he worked in Bulgaria, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Romania, Moldova and Hungary. He also acted as an advisor for the Ukraine, Belarus, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, Poland, Macedonia, Croatia, Slovenia and a few others that no one can spell, pronounce or locate on a map. Dave here, he's a northern lad. Thank you. He was born in the north. He studied at university in the northwest, Lancaster to be precise. He joined McDonald's in the northwest, <laughs> worked his way up through the operations hierarchy in the northwest, <laughs> and is now vice president and regional manager of the northwest. Now, Dave's a well-travelled lad. <laughs> um, 
He thinks that a meeting in East Finchley is an international assignment. <laughs> Obviously, eminently well qualified for this presentation. <laughs> Please welcome our first guest, Mr. Jim Cantalupo. Great people make the difference for McDonald's. And that's why the theme of this conference, Live the Difference, is so appropriate. What I would like to do for the next few minutes is to share with you the big picture of McDonald's International. You should know that each of you are an important part of something much bigger. And the progress McDonald's is making around the world as a company and as a brand is something you can truly be proud of. McDonald's is in 117 countries today, ready to serve most of the world's population and 95% of the world's purchasing power. In the past five years alone, we have opened 42 new countries, representing 2.6 billion more potential customers. I predict that in the next three years, International will grow to 18,000 restaurants, five and a half times more than we had a decade ago. And international sales will top $26 billion, more than the entire McDonald's system generated just five years ago in 1994. I'm proud of all our teams around the world. But between you and me, there are those who do it better, better than the rest, like the United Kingdom. The McDonald's system owes a great debt of gratitude to you. I'm happy to have played a part in your convention, and I want to add my congratulations on your first 25 years and your 1,000th store. Both great accomplishments. Have a great meeting. Thank you. Europe has had an important role in fueling McDonald's global growth for many years. Our first European countries, the Netherlands and Germany, joined the McDonald's family in 1971, quickly followed by Sweden and, of course, the United Kingdom. Today, the patch we call Europe is home to just over 540 million people. And if you add Russia, that population swells to 690 million. By the end of this year, McDonald's Europe will generate $10.5 billion in sales and $1.4 billion in operating income. That's an outstanding performance, and you should be congratulated because it's due in large part to the United Kingdom's contribution to Europe. We have the potential to truly make every meal a happy meal, and I believe that ought to be our goal throughout Europe and the UK for the new millennium. We have the ability, you have the ability, you've proved it, to deliver on this expectations. So congratulations on 25 years, good luck, and thank you. The openings in Central Europe have provided some of the most memorable TV news footage that the McDonald's archives are ever likely to see. The recent grand opening in Minsk, Belarus, was no exception. In freezing temperatures and under a dark midnight sky that was brightened by fireworks, an estimated 10,000 people waited to be served their first Big Macs. Customers were cold and tired, but not at all disappointed. We tried to find out what their silver service score was, but we couldn't find out. <laughs> Now, closer to home. And where better to start than with our bosom buddies from just across the channel? Ah, the French. <laughs> that fun-loving, happy-go-lucky nation. <laughs> Denny Hennequin, president of McDonald's France, has done a superb job in making the BK position untenable in France, hence their recent closure. And here's Monsieur Hennequin right now with some of his other European chums. Happy birthday, UK, and happy 25th anniversary. But most of all, I want to say thank you. Thank you for those 25 years of hard work establishing the highest standard for McDonald's brand in Europe. Your success story is for sure a benchmark for all of the European countries and for France. So thank you again and happy birthday. Ciao, ragazzi, e viva! Benvenuti. Vi voglio salutare. Molti auguri. E tanti auguri a tutti voi. Grazie.
Kung hoppade rallan dig. Skål. As you've just seen, the guys from McDonald's in Sweden have a reputation throughout the world for being fun-loving and creative, <laughs> particularly when performing on video. They, they also... Come on, girls, you can do it. Do the doggy paddle. Just like Daddy taught you. We'll take you someplace special. We'll take you to McDonald's. The opportunities open to all of us to work and experience life abroad are exceptional. And as Jack Greenberg said, we will leverage our overall strengths by encouraging our people to adopt a global mindset, sharing best practices and establishing a talent pool of our best people resources around the world. Thank you. Thank you. Twenty-four thousand nine hundred and ninety-eight. Ow. Twenty-four thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. Ow. Twenty-five thousand. Hey, to be. That is the question. Whether well, it is nobody in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing end them. To die, to sleep. Aye, there's the rub. In that sleep of death, what dreams may come. When we have shuffled off this mortal coil, it must give us pause. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the chairman, Paul Preston. Well, here we are. If not quite my hometown, then certainly my home base. For the last 25 years, Britain's been my home. It's funny. People in the UK tell me I haven't lost my accent. But here they say what a refined English brogue I've required. <laughs> and so it was in October 1974 we opened for business. I remember trying to have a conversation with someone that first evening after a very hectic day. The someone in question was a local policeman in Woolwich. He strode into the restaurant and immediately assumed a critical air. Very nice, he said. Very clean, very smart, very colorful. Well, thank you, I replied. Mmm, was his uh, response. But for how long, young man? I give it six months. Six months for what, I asked. Six months before this place is just as grubby as the other transport coughs round here. <laughs> I remember thinking, what on earth is a transport cough? <laughs> and what has transporting young cows got to do with anything? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for 25 years, I've been an American in Britain. And I tell you no lie, I've loved every minute of it. 